Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be doing part two of my haul and in today's video I'm going to be doing a Ulta haul. Oops I almost took my lights out and everything but like I mentioned yes we are doing a Ulta haul today. I hope you guys are excited for this one. This is going to be a long one. I know my first one was pretty long. The next two after this one are going to be pretty short so don't you worry. But yeah guys, I wanted to show you guys what I got from Ulta and the majority of this I got with Christmas uh, gift cards so I'm super excited about that. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Before we do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like these types of video and don't forget if you're not already subscribed, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. Now let's get into this Ulta haul. Okay, let's start with eyeshadow palettes and don't judge me, okay you guys? <laughs> I have seven eyeshadow palettes that I got from Ulta. I know that's a lot, but these were some palettes that I've been wanting, okay? <laughs> so don't judge me. But let's start off with this one. This one is from Makeup Revolution, and this is the Ultimate Desire Stripped Khaki Eyeshadow Palette. It just looks like this. I believe it's stripped, yeah. Um, and like I said, this is what the shadows look like. I don't know. I love green eyeshadow, and I wanted to try this one out. Um, I do like... For the most part, the eyeshadows from like this type of collection from Makeup Revolution. So I'm excited to try this this one out. This one does look promising. This green shade right here. Oh my gosh, this looks so pretty. So yeah, I did go ahead and I picked this one up. I'm trying. I'm gonna try not to swatch these because I have too many eyeshadow palettes. And the next one I got is from Nars, and it's part of this collection. I'm not gonna say it just because. I don't want to get in trouble for this one, but this is what it looks like. Um, I am going to include this in an upcoming video. I hope it's not too late, but I figured, oh well, I'll go ahead and still try it out on camera for you guys. And then this is what the colors look like. I'm not going to lie, this is nothing new from NARS, and it kind of makes me mad with NARS that they are using the same shades, the same names, the same everything. Nothing's ever new that they come out with, like new, new, you know what I mean? And for the most part, I'm surprised this is not limited edition. From what I could tell, it doesn't say anything about limited edition. So a lot of their eyeshadow products in particular that they come out with are limited edition, which I think is ridiculous that they do that. But that's just my opinion. But yeah. I do have some thoughts on this already. I have been doing some investigation, we'll say, on this palette. And yeah, stay tuned for a video because ugh, it just makes me so mad with them. <laughs> but regardless, it is a cute palette. Would I say it's worth the, what, I think it was $49? Probably not. <laughs> so like I said, just stay tuned for that video. The next eyeshadow palette I have is from ColourPop. And this is the Sage the Day palette. It just looks like... This, this one I heard nothing about. You know ColourPop, they come out with collections every two seconds. So I never could keep up with like the products that they have. But I did see this in store and I love the colors. It is a green color. <gasps> why does mine look beat up for? I don't know why mine looks like all crazy. But anyways, this is what this one looks like. I did get the single like the Super Shock shadows that came in this collection. It's somewhere in the bag. We'll get to it in a little bit. But yeah, I did go ahead and pick this one up. I picked up two eyeshadow palettes from Uma Beauty. One of these eyeshadow palettes, I'm not 100% sure which one it was, but one of these eyeshadow palettes I heard, I think her name is Kara from Beauty and the Frizz. Um, I seen her, one of her videos and she was talking about one of these palettes. I think it was this one. This is the Make It Black Black Magic Freedom palette. And it just looks like this. I've heard her talking really good things. Yeah, it's this one about this one, and I had to have it. So I went in store, and I actually found it in store. But this is what the palette looks like. Some of these colors are dual chrome, she said. So I don't want to swatch them just yet, but I'm so excited to try this palette out. And then I saw this other palette because I wasn't sure exactly which one it was that she was talking about. So I seen another one that kind of interest me and I went ahead and I picked it up this one is the I think it's from the same collection this is the black magic black magic uh, oh so the, the ones are back here the names it's the allure wait no I don't know I don't know which one this is <laughs> it just looks like this I'm sorry you guys I'm not 100% sure if you guys know let me know but anyways regardless it looks like this 
And this does kind of look like the Anastasia um, subculture palette. I'm not going to lie. Like, that looks very similar. I'm not 100% sure why I got this one. Just because I did have the one from Anastasia and I got rid of it. But, I don't know. I think maybe these colors up here got me. <laughs> <laughs> so we will see hopefully I like it more than the Anastasia one then the next eyeshadow palette I didn't realize this is also from Colourpop now I have no idea who these characters are I just got it because I seen this in store and I love the color story so I went ahead and picked it up but I'm talking about the Winx color uh, color Winx eyeshadow palette is what I meant to say by Colourpop I'm not 100% sure who these people are I have heard um, that is something on Netflix, but I'm not 100% sure so let me know again what it is But I don't know it just looks like this and yeah I just liked it because of the color story inside, but this is what the Packaging looks like this is what the back looks like really pretty like I wish I knew what this was so I could like it more <laughs> But it's okay, and then oh, This is so pretty even the, like the packaging. This is so so pretty this is what it looks like. Now, I know this is a colorful palette and I don't like color that much, but I can work with these types of colors. Like, I am more of a jewel tone type of person and I definitely could get down with using these colors, especially because they're kind of already lined up for me, like how you could use it with these one row, this one row, this one row, and so forth and so forth. So, this is something that I can, you know, use and work with, but yeah. The colors look so pretty and yeah, I'm so excited to try this one out. And then the last eyeshadow palette that I got. Now, I kept on going back and forth if I was going to return this or not just because the brand is having some trouble right now. And my boyfriend's like, no, just keep it. You know, you like the colors, whatever. Just, you know, just keep it. You have it, keep it. So I was like, okay, but I really was debating if I should return it or not. Let me know. If, should I return it or should I keep it? <laughs> but I'm talking about the Morphe 35L Ultra Lavender Artistry Eyeshadow Palette. It just looks like this. Now, if you guys know me, if you guys been on my channel for a while now, you know I like purples. And this is a purple palette. So that is why I got it. I didn't get it because it's Morphe or anything like that. I got it truly because I like the color story. Ugh, watch myself kick myself in the butt because it's gonna come to like uh, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. It better not, I swear. But anyways, it's okay because it wasn't that much. It was only twenty seven dollars. So and I did use my gift card, so it was free basically. But this is what it looks like. Yes, it's a lot of eyeshadow. Yes, it's a big palette. But like I said, I like purples, and I probably will never get rid of it if I do decide to keep it. But yeah, um, what can I say? It's purples. It's neutrals my type of color story um but yeah let me know if you guys have this and how it worked out for you guys um i mean am i overly excited to have it no i have it i'm gonna use it i love purples what else can i say moving on real quick i do want to show you i did get the uh super shocks like i mentioned of uh, the collection from the sage collection i have it in fringe and corsage corsage i think that's how you say it but yeah i did go ahead and pick those two up and then I did go ahead and I picked up a couple uh, eyelashes. I don't know why I picked them up. I hardly wear eyelashes now. And when I do, I do like to use the uh, ones from... Oh my god, I just talked about it. They were in my favorites video. The one from Glamnetic. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Or couldn't think. <laughs> but yeah, those are my favorite. But these ones look really nice and I wanted to try them out. This one is from Lily Lashes in the style Miami flare I've had I've heard good things about these ones so I wanted to go ahead and try it out and then I got some from I guess actually these last two are from kiss this one is the kiss times Meredith Duxbury I'm hoping I pronounced her name right it's a beauty influencer I've never heard of her before but these look really pretty these are limited edition I did get them in this uh, style all-nighter so this is what this looks like and i'm excited to try these ones out and then the last ones i got are from again kiss these are the lash couture triple push up collection these are in the style baby doll i hope i like these i hope they're not too dramatic for me but they did look really pretty so i wanted to go ahead and try these out moving on to the next products that i bought from ulta we're kind of going all over the place i'm just picking out stuff um from the bag as i go so 
Sorry if it's all over the place, but I did go ahead and I picked up one mascara. This is the L'Oreal Telescoptic Lift Mascara. I did get mine in blackest black. It just looks like this. This says this is length, lift, and volume. So I'm excited to try this because it does have everything that I look for, length and volume. So hopefully it does that. I'm looking at the applicator. Oh why people why i am not 100 percent sure but it does look like this is the type of applicator where it's short on one side the, like the bristles and then longer on the other side i just don't like that i it's too time consuming for me and i kind of make a mess with it but yeah it's just personal preference but i did go ahead and i picked this one up and then i did get one uh, actually not one three brow gels so the first one this one is from nyx this is the uh brow glue this is just the tinted version i did have the clear one and i did not like the uh, clear one i know i'm pretty sure i mentioned like in a video that i wish they had it tinted that i probably would enjoy it more if it was and it, they came out with it so i'm super glad they did that so i'm hoping i like this a little bit more than i did like a little bit more than the clear brow gel but yeah i went ahead and picked that up and then another one from nyx i just went ahead and picked up another one of the thicket stick it brow mascaras this one is an espresso um this is not my color but they didn't have the colors that i wanted so i just went ahead and picked this one up i am not 100 percent sure if you've seen the video for my target haul but i did go ahead and i picked up another shade which i think is a little bit better but this might still work out for me so we will see but i did pick this one up and then the last like brow product this is the milani clear brow gel just looks like this eyes it's new so i wanted to go ahead and test it out i don't really like clear brow gels but we will see so yeah moving on to concealers i did go ahead and i picked up three concealers but two are from the same brand uh these ones are from makeup revolution and these are the irl filter finish soft matte concealers i did go ahead and pick up two shades c1 and c6 i originally picked up c6 first and it was a little bit too dark i thought so i just went ahead and went back into store and picked up c1 you guys know if you've seen my videos that i did not like the foundation in this collection so i'm hoping i like the concealer a little bit more but we will see um but yeah i just ugh, they need to work on their shades they're just so off and so bizarre you know so i don't understand it but yeah i did go ahead and have to pick two shades up i highly recommend if you want anything from makeup revolution as far as like foundations and concealers stuff like that to go in store and look at it because in online it's going to be a disaster but i did go ahead and i picked these two then i went ahead and i picked up this urban decay stay nick stay naked quickie up to 24 hour wear multi-use concealer this is new i did go ahead and i got my shade four four zero n and light medium just looks like this um i haven't seen anybody well i haven't actually looked at reviews just because i don't want my thoughts and opinions i want them to be my thoughts <laughs> but i did go ahead and pick it up this is what it looks like i'll be honest i'm not a fan of the applicator i just i don't understand why that's there but i'll try it i guess with the applicator we will see but yeah this is pretty big you guys <laughs> but yeah that's what the color looks like it looks dark on camera but in person it is kind of it's pretty light i think this will work yeah that will work i think that's probably really good for my under eye then i picked up one foundation well i picked up two different shades <laughs> but one foundation this is from nyx and this is the bear with me blur uh blurring tint foundation i did have to get two shades just because the one i originally wanted they don't have in store um i did want shade five so i ended up getting the one lighter to shade five and the one after shade five so four and six uh four is light neutral and six is soft beige so hopefully one of these colors will match me if not i'm just gonna have to mix but i will be testing these out in an upcoming video but i wanted to try these out because they have they had another foundation mm, forgot what it was called if i could find a picture i'll put it up here but they had something in their collection and they discontinued it and that's like was so so good and yeah so i'm hoping this these ones are if not better than those because then then i have these <laughs> picked up two bronzers again from the same brand these are the elf luminous putty brown putty bronzers i did get two shades summer fridays and day trip 
looks looks like this I wanted another shade but I totally forgot which one I had already at home so I'm gonna try to see if these will work if not then I'll pick up the other one and give these ones away but yeah I did go ahead and I picked those up and then again from the same collection NARS I got the blush palette uh, it's the blush quad actually and then the multi-purpose stick I got it in the shade rush so it just looks like this um, again I'll try these in a video but I just wanted to see what these were like um, if anything I was more excited for these two products in the blood I mean than the uh, eyeshadow palette but this is what this looks like I can't wait to use this I mainly got it because I wanted this blush right here <laughs> I think this one is called yeah blank rush I don't want to say the word I just I, I forgot to mention it about the eyeshadow palette it just the names just it, it doesn't sit well with me I know for some people they're like oh my god grow up blah 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 but I just there's other things that they can name these products especially when it's like repeats of you know names and stuff like that I just just <laughs> I don't know I'm weird like that but anyways yeah I got this and then um, like I said I got the multi stick I guess you could use this for your cheeks and your lips but it just looks like this and then is this coming off already it better not be it felt kind of loose but that's what the color looks like you know I'm gonna swatch it because I want to see what it looks like hmm this is more orangey than I thought it was gonna be so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like that but ooh, this feels soft oh that blended out beautiful look at that oh okay never mind I might like it more than I think I will I did get two loose powders the first one I don't think I'm gonna use just because I have seen some reviews on this and um, they have said that it makes their foundation darker so I'm a little afraid to use this but this is the Milani conceal and perfect blur out powder I did hear that the formula is really good but that just this gets a little bit darker this is translucent zero one there is only one shade but this is really dark for being translucent like oh yeah you could tell right there look at how dark that looks I had it a certain way and it looked darker but yeah this looks really dark so I'm a little afraid to use it but I guess for the YouTube we'll try it out <laughs> let me know if you have this and if it does the same thing like everybody else says if it makes your foundation darker if anything I just won't use it underneath the eyes I'll just use it everywhere else besides my eye and then this one oh, this better work out because <laughs> at first I heard a lot of people talking really good about this and then after I bought this product I heard some bad reviews but this is the Uma Beauty Trippin' Smooth Powder. I did get mine in light. Again, I heard that this um, oxidizes, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen with me. But yeah, people have said this is so good, and I just wanted to try it. It looks like this. The packaging is kind of funky, but just be careful. Like, oh, see, I'm opening it, the product and not opening the lid. You have to, yeah, so you have to twist the bottom to get the product out. And it just makes a mess so just be very careful with it but that's what the color looks like hopefully you guys can see let me see yeah so we will see I will test it out in an upcoming video okay guys we are almost done with this video I just have lip products to talk about and I got quite a bit of lip products so let's go ahead and talk about lip liners I did get three lip liners the first one is from makeup revolution and it's the IRL filter finish lip definer I did get mine in the shade what shade is this uh frappuccino nude it just looks like this just a nude color you know I love my nudes oh does this oh, oh I don't have I haven't opened it but I'm not gonna even bother trying to open it but yeah that's what that one looks like and then the next one so this one I got because of Madison Miller I was watching one of her videos and she said she really liked this lip liner so I wanted to go ahead and get it and when she swatched it it looked like my type of color but this one is from Smashbox and this is the B legendary line and prime pencil I got this in the shade fair neutral rose Hopefully this is a good color on me because it was a good color on her, but she is lighter than me, I think, so hopefully this works out, but that's what the color looks like. It looks a little bit darker in person than it does. Oh no, that should be fine, but that's what it looks like. It did look a little bit lighter on her, but like I said, we're different skin tones, so that's probably why, but 
I will try that one out. And then the last lip liner is from Tarte. Of course, I had to try this. This is the Maracuja Ju Juicy Lip Lip Liner. <laughs> I got mine in the shade Soft Pink. I just got one just because I wanted just to try it out. And I have a lot of lip liners already. And then that's what the color looks like. And then I'll go ahead and swatch this one for you as well. Ooh, that one's pretty. It's yeah, that one right there. You can't tell the difference, but this one's a little bit more brown, even though it says soft pink. But yeah, this one is a twist up, if I'm not mistaken. Is it? Yes, it is. And then the one from Smashbox is a uh, sharpened one. So just to let you guys know. But yeah, those are the lip liners that I got. I did go ahead and I got this Makeup Revolution. IRL whipped lip cream again. I got it in frappuccino nude. It's kind of like goes with the lip liner I think it's part of the same collection, but yeah, I just went ahead and I got the lips Cream I was gonna say lipstick, but lip cream same color as the lip liner And then I did go ahead and I picked up another one of these covergirl clean fresh yummy glosses in which one is this? 650 Coconut About You. Then I did get a couple lip products from NYX. I did go ahead and I picked up this uh, NYX Filter Instinct lip product. I'm not 100% sure. I guess it's just Filter Instinct. Um, I did get it in the shade Beach Casual. It just looks like this. Again, I've heard really good things about this and I wanted to try it out. Then I did get two of these NYX Smooth Whip Matte lip creams i got them in the shade what shade are these does it say um teddy fluff and latte foam oh, these things are so small to see <laughs> but that's what the colors look like again these look interesting so i wanted to go ahead and try these ones out i did go ahead and pick up two of these elf old face satin lipsticks i got them in the shade dirty talk which looks like this and no doubt which looks like this so two different colors you guys know i wasn't a fan of the stained lip glosses i think they were so i'm hoping this is not similar because <laughs> if it is i'm in trouble i need to stop buying more than one of the same product especially if i haven't tried it out before because if i don't like it i am you know sol <laughs> but I did go ahead and I picked two of these up. Okay, you guys, and then the final product, the final lip product that I got in my Ulta haul is just another one of these Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink. They did come out with more shades, more nude shades. I did go ahead and I picked it up in Punchy. Just looks like this. These were some of my favorite lip products. Um, I did include it in my Best of 2022, so go ahead and check that out. I will have that video linked down in the description box, but... Yeah, I did go ahead and pick up another one. I want to go ahead and swatch it just to see what the color looks like. Oh, yeah, that is beautiful. I'm really going to like this color a lot. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. All right, you guys. That is it for this big, massive Ulta haul. I was going to say Sephora haul. That I think you guys already seen. If not, that's coming up. But, yeah. That is it for this Ulta haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a lot of stuff. I know. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I still have one more haul to film <laughs> and then I will be done. But the last haul that I have to film is like the big one. And I think that's going to be the first one you guys see. It's going to be the TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul. I will have it linked down in the description. But yeah, that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget if you're not already subscribed, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. And until the next time, I will see you guys later. Bye!